Did you guys know I actually created a team called Skyline and a lot of you guys joined really quickly. Today we're going to be doing Team Wars and we actually reached top 50s. So I'm going to go ahead and do Team Wars and top 100. So I hope you're all excited. If you are, make sure you drop a like, subscribe. Anyways, it's going to get started. Now, I know some of you guys are confused, like, what? He mentioned top 100 first and then top 50? Well, we were actually in the top 50s um, after... Well, I, there's actually previous previous war we were actually in top 50 but now we actually got to top 79 which is top 100 basically but we were actually up here um earlier last war so we got to top 50s but that's an accomplishment for a team that's not even trying by the way team skyline is literally just made for you guys to join and just have fun like you don't have to yeah you can do war attacks and stuff like that but it's not really like a competitive team or whatever you know what i mean you don't have to really try your hardest if you get your attacks done get like one or two coins I, I i don't really mind it as long as you get your attacks done basically it's just like a chill team but seeing it in the top 50 that's crazy i thought i'd actually never see team skyline the top uh top 100 even in general but that's crazy right um so it's an accomplishment for sure uh by the way for these guys that are actually interested in joining you can go ahead and apply soon um i'm gonna go ahead and uh replace a few inactive of players uh that haven't logged on the past few days um so you guys can actually get a chance to join because a lot, i've seen a lot of you com a lot of you guys commenting that you are interested in uh playing um a part of you know team skyline so if you're interested you know, you know what i mean like I'll, I'll go ahead and um go ahead and get you on so what do we have here is that that one amulet on that monster that gives his thing it's the adventures amulet i don't know why players run the adventures amulet yeah it's a random debuff that's kind of nice but i like the other one more where he gets his ancestral form straight away like you'd rather have your ancestral form unlocked straight away for the next turn rather than just applying a random of satisfaction i feel like that's a lot better isn't it um anyways so what do we do what do we want to do oh wait hold on i want to see if any of these guys have any monsters with no per i think this this setup isn't using any per so what we can do actually is run a setup like this um, i'm gonna do a pure panda and let me just go all the way down i might be i think i have a level four don't i i do so we'll do this level four i haven't used a level four strat in so long like i'm, I'm being so serious i haven't used this thing in so long it's kind of crazy um i'm gonna run some string trains obviously so we're gonna go ahead and borrow some of these level tens real quick and uh we're gonna have to run a good attacker here do we even have oh, albanasa do we want to use albanasa as our attacker i don't know do we have any other um monsters here that could give give evasion they can't so i think uh i think we're gonna have to run him um i could do lord inheritor but no there, there's no runes on it actually hold on we can equip equip him with some runes right now it doesn't have to be level 10 specifically we can give him level 8 yeah ever thought about that <laughs> ever thought about that let's go i think i'm gonna give him the killer x armor so i can heal and also regenerate salmon if i need it we could do a spirit battery if anything if not then we can uh do like a pain distiller i think pain distiller is pretty cool soul drag i don't really need that um i think pain distiller will definitely be quite useful so how about we run something like this huh what do you guys think so besides that um i kind of want to run a, another shrink rune here so we can hit even harder so we'll have the triple strength runes like that and then the skills are already set so we're good to go all right so anyways as long as there aren't any relics that will kick in straight away oh no it says look supreme sword assert the battle of any enemies from the galactic era or older generation deals twenty-seven thousand points of special damage to target and applies a minor damage boost so that's not good because yeah it says if any enemies uh from the galactic or older generation obviously so that would be these guys um unfortunately yeah that's gonna kick in and that won't be good and yeah so that's the only relic that's really messing with me it's all right we can move on to a different base this one they don't have any monsters that could per uh there's a keller vest keller vest can't really do anything against me i do want to take a look at the relics here and the talents that that monster has so none of them says a sorry to battle so that should be good let's go ahead and start this off and my monster starts off with evasion which is good so what i'll do here is turn transfer over to my attacker straight away and my attacker can go ahead and deal a lot of damage so we'll go ahead and possess them that way they kind of work for me um except that monster right there he's just gonna attack and there's nothing that's gonna happen with my level i guess my level four because i have evasion and then i'll do this there we go there that way we can actually deal some extra damage um there's shadow sn and the the main monster can't really do anything that monster is dead to all the tortures and last but not least i think i'll just do per for fun and inheritor can just ultimate him there we go so once we ult him the monster is dead and that's three coins right there i can't i it's just i haven't really used that strategy in like 
since maybe corrupted or after corrupt era i think it was like metro era i stopped using it around then i'm like you know what the, 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 there's no way this strategy it's just i never thought about it because i had like better monsters to use and i was like you know what level four strategy is cool and all but there's like a lot of monsters that come with talents and relics and stuff like that sorry battle that kicks in and i just stopped using it but now we kind of uh got to use it again so that's pretty cool uh let me see what do we want to run here let me just do a random monster like moon haze i don't know why i have level 10 on moon haze still so, uh and i was thinking what if we do balderar boulder is really really nice so a setup like setup like this won't really hurt right uh we have 15k speeds and that monster has basically double the amount almost we can go ahead and turn transfer straight away apply random damage boost turn transfer over we have triple damage that we're starting off with which is insane if you think about it so why don't we do a aoe damage to start off with first which is this low metal damage to everybody and that's just low imagine if it was like moderate or heavy that would have been pretty insane but anyways this monster is gonna go crazy now with uh basically spamming it forever because his skills are basically spammable forever um and then we're also running the tensimus mask and also that one talent that was just regenerating stamina back to back so there there goes another three coins i've got ourselves another base here number seven and this base is actually not bad um we can go ahead and destroy this one too uh i'm thinking we do another attacker like a different one maybe naya instead we won't need the metal in the middle monster so we can actually trade it up with like a ferrata or actually like another monster with like an Essen, like the warrior would be fine i'll just give it a euro lesson so in case if it dies it can come back you never know um and then we could just jump the other one for four so anyways we got uh, 21k speeds and everything we got 29k so we'll go ahead and turn transfer none of them have anticipation either um we should be good we could just turn transfer over with damage boost and the rest is history so there goes the damage boost there goes the turn transfer over we get another triple damage again so i guess we'll eliminate mosclan real quick we get a turn in here we'll do a damage boost oh wow okay wait never mind i think did i mess it up i hope i didn't <laughs> hope i didn't okay no we're good yeah because i used my damage boost uh i didn't i didn't know i was actually running the arch true talent i, I kind of forgot i i knew it but i forgot that i was running the arch true talent uh because what happens is that it like restores all cooldown so if all your when a monster dies basically all your skills um comes off of cooldown so look you're able to use all your skills again um but just deactivates all your uh skills like cooldowns i guess if that makes sense anyways the monster's dead we won with the warrior being on the side there uh this one is okay i mean we could easily beat this if i'm running like a good setup but it's just that i don't have too many good monsters right now um not just that but also just like swapping runes i don't really want to do that too much like i have the monsters is just swapping the runes is just a hassle can we run this monster right here we could do cannon as an attacker normally like he's supposed to be an attacker in case you guys didn't know like this monster's role is supposed to be an attacker but players run him as a supporter we could do like a damaging talent as well after damaging our skill okay so it, it deals dark damage we can run something like that for example and then we just run like lady meow for the middle monster and you know what we could use fire fool so that we could actually boost up the, the damage but the issue here is that there's a there's a monster that will start off with evasion for everybody which i don't like so we can actually skip that one that one has megaton this one is not bad we just turn transfer over deal the damage easy peasy so this one this one's easy peasy let's go ahead and just recover the monster there i just like the easy turn transfer with the damage boost i think that's like it just benefits a lot did i just get another triple damage what is my luck with the triple damage like i mean i'm not complaining but that's that's really cool so there goes the damage there and then we get another turn in and this time we can actually do the fire now that we have vulnerability because with the fire we're able to deal even more damage than usual uh and i guess i'll just do another damage boost okay and see i jinxed it now i kept on mentioning it and they just stopped giving me the triple damage <laughs> they used to give me so much in the beginning uh but not anymore i guess but anyways guys i'm gonna go ahead and do my remaining attacks later on um later on in the day but yeah guys um if you are interested in joining you can go ahead and apply to it and i'll be uh, accepting random players uh you know but let me see is oh yeah it's still air Foss. we could probably enter it actually but i don't think i could get far for it <laughs> with only six gems i'm not expecting to go too far honestly so let me just uh let me just play this off just just for fun uh we're gonna see if we'd actually uh get any gems from this that would be cool right i'm gonna go with the one all the way to the left that won't give me food let's see so it's food gold that means that these two should be safe for the next especially this one right here this should be a safe one there's no way yeah there's no way it's gonna be a monster there uh the treasure guy was right there room five is obviously a free one so we can just go ahead and select this forever one and food was right there i think i'm gonna go with one of the corners so let me go with this one i want to give me 50k gold obviously the next one room is going to be a trap 
or else I would have avoided the, this one specifically. This would have been a trap 100%, or like a high chance that there was going to be a trap there. Uh, but we're just going to go ahead and move on and spend the five gems and see if we could actually make it a bit far. So room eight, let's see what we're going to get. We're going to go with the same exact uh, thing twice. Looks like they give me food. There's gold right there. So that means that one of these two should be safe. I'm going to go with this one. This one's safe. This one's safe as well. And this is where the trap is. Oh man, you're just too predictable, man. You're just too predictable. I'm telling you. Anyways, we get that. Uh, none of that stuff are actually worth it. Should we back out or no? I don't know. I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about backing out. See, every time I mention them, I'm like, I should back out and then I don't. And then that's when I get hit with a trap. Like, it's just so annoying. But anyways, guys, we're going to wrap it up for today's Monster Gents video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Make sure you drop a like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys want more team more videos in your future. And it's going to be pretty much it. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next one. Peace out.